Waffle House now sells their mix online so you can buy it at home. So I thought I'd test it out and see if these waffles stack up to the real thing. Waffle House has joined a variety of restaurants offering fun ways to make some of their most iconic meals at home. Although I was a little intimidated at first because it's more than just adding water. It's the authentic recipe right down to the process. These waffles call for a whopping four eggs and two quarts of half and half for the whole three pound bag. But I don't need a whole gallon of batter, so I decided to divide the recipe by a fourth. I also don't usually have half and half in my fridge, so I made my own with one part heavy cream and one part milk. The recipe also says to use a bon marie, but I didn't even know what that was. Turns out you can pretty much make your own with a bowl and a pot of boiling water over low heat. First, take your egg and add it to the bowl, and then pour in the half and half. Whisk that together. Once it's well incorporated, you can add the Waffle House mix. Feel free to do it all at once because I noticed the mix doesn't really clump up. As you whisk, you'll notice the batter start to thicken as everything comes together. At this point, it says to pour into an airtight container and store in the fridge overnight. But I didn't want to wait that long, so I ended up using the batter right away. Maybe it is better overnight, but I didn't mind the difference. Simply pour the batter in to fill the waffle iron and cook for about three minutes. The batter should crisp up nicely, and once it's done, you'll have a beautifully golden Waffle House waffle. And now for the final test. Does it taste as good as it looks? That's a really good waffle. Probably the best waffle I've ever made at home. These waffles were the perfect combination of sweet and savory, and I'm pleased to say that my family ate the entire batch. So if you're craving that Waffle House flavor, this is the perfect at-home solution. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.